Let's talk about the structure of a transform, a transform file. And to do that, let's create a new one. So I'm going to, I just chose the little um, file new icon here. I'm going to choose an XSL style sheet. As I've said before, we're going to use 1.0s in this class. And what I get here is an empty style sheet. It has the root tag, but nothing else in it. And so under the root tag, we will see this kind of tag, XSL template. Now, there'll be a variety of XSL templates, and they're going to be of two kinds. The one that you'll always see, and you might as well just get used to just doing this all the time, because pretty much everything that you create in this class is going to look like this. It has, um, it, it's an XSL template child of the style sheet, and it starts with match equals forward slash. That's the, te that's the template that matches right off the bat that gets things rolling. So this is a way of immediately catching the template processor so that you can take control of what the template does. Okay, so if you don't really understand all the nuances of that, just get used to the idea of this is how I start a transform. When I get the, um, when, I, when I go file new, it's only going to give me the style sheet, and then I got to start with this XSL template match backslash. However, there can be other templates in here. I can have an XSL template that matches um, a P tag. So whenever I hit a P tag, whoops, whenever I hit a P tag, this template will run. I can also have another one, XSL template, and this one matches a movie. And it matches a movie that's in the movies container. So I can put any X path in here to be as specific as I want for the match. I can even say match a movie where the ID equals M E X P E R. That's being very specific. That now this will only match. Did I mess something up here? Yes, I did. Now this template will only match one specific movie. So I can be as specific or as general as I want. This one will match all P's. Now the question is when I find a P tag, what do I want to do with it? Well, I probably just want to go like this. I want to have a P. That's a piece of HTML, and inside the P, I want to put the value of the P tag, which in this case is the current node. So don't worry too much if you don't understand current node right now. It's really not the point of this, of this exercise. The point of this exercise is to show you, generally speaking, how transforms or what the, what, what's inside a transform file. Style sheet parent. Let me indent these guys, and then a set of template children. You may also see above here a tag sometimes called XSL include, and maybe you would see one like this. Um, that indicates that I want to get all of the stuff that's in this other XSL file, this body elements XSL file, and include it inside of this one. So if there's five more templates in there, I'll get those five extra templates inside of here in addition to the three that I already have. Okay, so um, inside a template, the children of the template are of two varieties. We have HTML children. Right, so now I'm building an HTML file. All right, you may be familiar with this. Body. So here's just a block of HTML tags, right? With nothing else, um, I, with no XSL commands inside them at all. Of course, it wouldn't do for me just to type an entire HTML, um, HTML file in here. So instead, I mix them. Uh, I mix my HTML tags with XSL tags. And notice as soon as I type XSL, it begins to prompt me for what is it that I want. What XSL command do I want? Okay, so um, I'm tending to stray here, but I want to stay pretty simple. I want to say that inside a style sheet, it's composed mainly of templates. Um, those templates match different contexts. And then inside the templates are HTML commands and XSL commands, and they're mixed together. One other thing just to show you is that there's one other kind of template And that template, instead of matching, has a name. So this name is the Bob template. And some other place in here, let's say, 
I can call the Bob template because it has a name. XSL call template name Bob. And now somewhere else in my, so it, it knew, by the way, that I had a template named Bob because I had already created one. And now I can call that in, which means everything that's in the Bob template is going to be, in effect, pasted right at this location. In the same way that the include instruction brings in entire other templates into, the, um, into this transform file, the call to a template will use all of the XML and HTML that's in this Bob template and put it right where I need it. So it's a way of including that template right in line right here. Okay, so quick review here. We have style sheet parent. Inside the style sheet parent, really two main ones that you're going to see. You'll see one more that's up, uh, that I won't even talk about right now. Um, you'll see this include one sometimes, and you'll always see templates. You'll always see this template equals back match equals backslash one, and then you may see or you may create other ones that are um, are other templates that match other situations or are called, and that's the ones that have names.